Hey everyone, here with my last Lego Harry Potter uh, Summer 2024 review. And this one's on the Triwizard Tournament, The Arrival. Or otherwise, the new version of the Durmstrang ship, of course. So on the front of the large box here, we have the Lego Harry Potter logo, Wizarding World logo. Same border that we've had for a while. And picture of the Durmstrang ship coming up from the Black Lake and the boat backs and carriage flying right by. And bottle does not float, so be aware of that. All the meaning things included. And recommended ages is 10 and up. Send up set number uh, 76440 has, has 1,229 pieces. Then look to the back side of the box. Have all the mini figs gathered up into resting positions of both builds, and a little close up of of some of the mini figs and the two small builds of it, and some of the features of both builds. The Lego logo again, and there. And now onto the manual, which. On CGI rendering, as most are nowadays, and Lego Harry Potter logos, of course. And the transition from plastic bags to paper bags, and add for the Builder app. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. Then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And in. an advertisement of of some of the Hogwarts add-on sets that I have previously reviewed and then add for rebuild the world and last building steps so now on to the mini thing First up, we would have Fleur Delacour, which is sort of the same as we had in the 2019 Bobax and Carriage set, but with dual molded leg piece or dual molded legs of which. I'm not sure if that's new. Correct me if I'm wrong. But however, everything else, same as from there. And also the uh, hair hat combo piece, which is probably the same, but also kind of just recolored into a uh, sand blue. For that not sure why but whatever although it would have been nice if it were still in a bright blue like in the 2019 version of the bull backs and carriage but yeah and next of which we have victor crumb of which a quite different variant variant than in last year's uh black lake uh murder people set that there was but of course in that he had the shark head form of that but however just his more regular form and of course, with this uh, coat uh, collar piece, like we saw on the penguin in uh, the in some uh, DC Batman sets that there were, but also with good torso print leg printing, which you can definitely use on some custom figs if you wanted, and also same hair piece as in the Black Lake set from last year, of course. But yeah. Oh, what? And next to which we have. Which have a uh, Barry Crouch Senior, which nice use the polar hat piece, nice to see there, and also good torso printing and not only like printing for that, but although it would be nice if there was that can match up with this torso printing, but whatever. And however, face printing also quite good for how it is, but yeah. And next to which we have uh, Igor Karkaroff. Of which with the hair piece of which is kind of similar to some of the recent uh, Aquaman uh, mini figs and face print as well for that. Although that can definitely be used for current Aquaman or something. But also nice torso printing and also wielding both this uh, long bar piece and also this recent wand pieces as all the figs do. And also dual molded leg pieces which or the dual molded legs which can definitely be used on some custom figs if you wanted. 
and then last of which is Madame Maxon, which the hairpiece and face printing kind of the same as from previous sets, but however the uh, torso print like printing all quite good for that, but also reuse of the uh, long arms which we saw in the 2010 Toy Story theme with Woody and Jesse, but also, but just a couple of years, and also last year in 2022, we kind of saw these brought back with the Navi in the Avatar theme, and then just the legs of which reused on uh, Dr. Eggman in the Sonic the Hedgehog theme. But otherwise, great to see these pieces reused right here, of course. But aside from that, Quite good printing, and yeah, or good like printing as well. But yeah, and then on to the back sides of each of them, all of which good back torso printing. Uh, oh, whoops. and also not only for that one, and also some good double side faces for each of them, or for most of them. So this minifig selection as a whole, of which quite good for how it is. Although it would have been nice if Fleur's younger sister, younger sister Gabby Delacour, could have been included, but whatever. Or maybe also uh, a Fleur in a in her blue one piece, or or whatever. But yeah. maybe that would have been a little too much. But. And last off, first off for the builds is the Triwizard Cup here, which is quite simplistic for how it is. Like, do you get a recent Ninjago hilt piece holding all these uh, other snake pieces onto it, and also a, a clear blue cylinder piece onto it, all resting quite simplistic, but works quite well for that. And also this little fountain-like build, also quite simplistic. Like a, a column piece and uh, other 2x4 brick on there, and also a little jumper and a little snot brick with a random plate on there, and then also upside down astromech droid head, and also a, a clear blue flame piece, but representing water, of course. But yeah, that is about it there. And first up for the Builds of Witch is. The Bobax and carriage, but just a, a small scale version of it, unlike with the last version of it that we had back in 2019, which was actually a little bit larger than that, and of course had two Pegasi for that. But in the movie, had like about six pulling it for that. Although that would have been a whole separate set and would have made this cost a lot more, probably a little too much. For that. That first time, do you have this uh, newer style horse piece that we've been seeing for a whole decade with the movable back legs, and also all the same from the 2013 Lone Ranger sets, of course, and also the movable headpiece, standard, and also these smallish wing pieces in silver, and also if you like remove this uh, harness piece for that, also do have a a Regular two, one by two uh, tile piece to add into the center, make it more complete, of course. And also, it's all held on to a little ball joint kind of part onto it like that. Then the carriage witch, a solid, consistent color scheme of light blue, brown, gold, and a bit of dark red, and also dark tan, of course. They do have a little seat in the front. Of which to sit fluor into it, which on the box cover kind of shows. This can do something like that, of course. Even though her hair, but whereas her hair piece kind of gets in the way of that, well, if you position her right, of course. And then, as for bolt sides, of which have the regular door pieces that have the Bobaxin symbol on them, and then also, you have these wheel pieces like we see in most castle sets or carriages in castle sets. So, and also the other kind of bottom, bottom slope pieces to there. And then also the back side of which had this little uh, chest like piece that 
or trunk piece that's movable and also can open up and then a couple of teacup pieces to add into it. And also those uh, window pieces and gold on there. Then as for the door pieces can like swing open like so and then can like walk right up into it and then you have about four of these of little tap pieces holding studs to represent the lights on it. Then the top part, which which is just a couple of curved slopes and also a couple of cheese slopes with this mini build with the half eggshell piece as a little topper part of it. And then you can like take it off and then get a lot at a lot of space in there, like a few jumper kind of pieces in there to like sit about one or two figs in there. And obviously on the box cover shows Madame Max in, in there, obviously. And then so obviously enough space for her in the long legs as well. And closes quite nice and securely onto it. And then tap that onto it and so I'm going to try to full complete that, but not sure why I include this build in the set, which although this the Durham string ship would have been fine without it as as it, but although this would have worked out as a whole separate set as well, but but that's just me. But yeah. And that is about it with the little backs and carriage. And now on to the Durham string ship itself. It was quite large and quite impressive for how it is. And also, and obviously, from first glance, it looks kind of close to some recent uh, pirate ship builds that, or pirate ships that there are, where it's quite it's not heavy. For that, but obviously decked out for the Durmstrang, of course. Like on the front part, which have a simple mast that is comprised mostly of these regular technic bits, and ending off with a gold cone piece to that, and then. Also, these masks, which you get about uh, four of in this set, which made this thin film material for that. But like, as for this front part of it, which also has a lot of gold cone pieces around it, and then also a couple of tile pieces on there, and also a hinge piece kind of holding it together, and then right downwards is this little build representing a small bit of a dragon head to that, but also a couple of stickers representing eyes on it, but whereas there's a lot of stickers in this set, so not quite ideal to be put in water. And of course, as the box says, does not float, obviously. And then as for this upper part of which, kind of random amount of, of dark red uh, by one bricks and random plates as well, and a couple curved slopes as well. And also a lot more of those Technic pieces acting as uh, the mast and top part of which, which is half barrel acting as a crow's nest. And also a couple of these little uh, flyer like banner pieces as well as like flags and such, just like the original 2005 version as well. And also you get a lot of these uh, other whip like pieces that go down and are held onto these lightsaber bars to doing so. And then on the side of the ship, have these large slope-like uh, pieces to that, or large campy pieces, but also with curved slopes that do have a lot of stickers on them, kind of, kind of nice stickers, but also as for the main docking kind of section, which has a few grill pieces on there, and then also these little parts for you to reach in and take it out, and then do get a little bit of an Captain Quarters office space kind of area which has a little lamp build and a clear uh, coffee mug and also a little bed-like area with a tile piece probably has a sheets or a pillow and then also that as a pillow and of course plenty of space to fit a fig into there of course and also with that on quite nice and slides in quite nicely but whereas these little builds that are of the with curved slopes kind of Walk in and outwards quite annoyingly. Although I think there should have been a way to keep them like attached and more steady to that. 
and then further down the witch, a lot more of the same effect, but a lot more of these curved slopes around it, adding a bit of like plank texturing, and then also this on the upper section is have this little up bar like kind of a different kind of bar piece is with a lot more of those whip like pieces that go upwards and then to like onto the main mast of it that has the main sail that has the Durmstrang symbol on it. And then as for the uh, top crow's nest part, another little uh, banner piece and another flag like ribbon. For that and then as for to access this area of it you can just take one of these parts off and then just reach down to it right here and then also have this little bill which you can take off and then also have a little uh, area a little sitting area like a little chair air part with that is in sand green and also a little table with a drumstick and a cup on there and then also one of those recent uh, diamond like pieces but in trans blue and sparkly nice to see there and also great for mocking and as for this little area as well so the detaching of it kind of also reminiscent of the original 2005 version of it but however the main build right here which nice use of these pieces and also long stickers on there and also with a gold banner on them so you can know in order to know uh, which stud to go put them on to and then also a lot of the classic uh, castle symbols or classic shields with different stickers to be different symbols on them and then a little hollow space going right down them and then well on both floors of it and also a nice build for the roofing part on top of here with one long plate or one tile to finish it off, of course. And to get back on is just rest on a pair of studs on there. And then to this farther back part of it, which is sort of the same look as this upper part of it, and then also a similar build with all these curved slopes around it and then also this also a few recent lantern pieces in gold and with unique with little uh, cups in them holding the studs that have the uh, gold unicorn horns on them to make a nice uh, texture to it and third time with one of these banner pieces there and then also a smallish mast like build and also those and like on all the other masts, have these uh, pixel ball joint type pieces to stick them onto it. And also, also great use of these uh, cheese slopes and gold bar pieces to make it a nice texture to there. And then same with on the far back side with these leaf pieces in gold as well. And also right beneath it, as see some whole lot of snot techniques gone, on there, but makes a great texture to it and also a few just just one long brick and also a couple of also a few slopes down below to make it as a rudder of course and also this little gold piece that is held on with the shield piece from the Star Wars sets to make it curve right inwards like that and then on the back other side of it is like completely all the same but except for the other side part of it, this other sail right here so if you're a large symmetry person this well works for you e even if regardless of this other sail part they have. Okay now for a little comparison is with this and also in the original 2005 version as you can see, which I previously reviewed for Throwback Thursday, and as you can see, quite a major amount of difference, whereas this switch, 170, and this one originally 50. Well, the reason it was 50, for big, large, pre-done bolt haul pieces, which were kind of common at the time, but this switch, highly brick-built, of course. So, of course, do get plain work going off of that. Pretty sure this one of which might have been able to float, but 
This one technically doesn't, of course. And also this did have metallic gold pieces onto it, which was kind of a common thing with LEGO at the time. But And also, for the uh, back area part of which, which on both models was easily removable. Well, but of course this switch, same deal, but to a lesser extent, just harder access to it with the uh, rope pieces, but and also have to remove the mast on the older one. So these, this switch kind of the quite the improvement over that, and also a lot more shield pieces, and compared to just two on this one. And also it's not at all neat uh, skipping plank feature like these, like this one. And also this did have all the right mini figs to it, unlike with the other variant of this set that did come with a few extra figs to it, kind of an odd case that was. And also that this one, which not at all any large sails on it, unlike the newer one that has two large sails on to it. So obviously, so maybe that since this was near the time of Goblet of Fire's release, probably didn't know about that part ahead. But, but luckily, this which does have that to it, so great to see there. And also, not at all the anchor to it like the. Well, this one did have an anchor piece to it, which this new version doesn't. So, although I think it could have been on there, but yeah. And, uh, so I think this is which, and also the proper color of dark brown and t dark tan in compared to the black and darkish gray on this one. So this is well worth the improvement and also kind of a regular ship-like look to it. But yeah. Now for my overall verdict is, I think this is which a really good, really quite cool set. Like do get so it's like a whole pirate ship build, which we rarely see much in licensed themes, but and but and also nice, great to see a return of Durmstrang ship. But although this whole build of which could also work out as both the Queen Anne's Revenge and Black Pearl in the Pirates of the Caribbean. A line of which, if that theme ever returned for whatever reason, but yeah. And also, this whole ship, as is a witch, just great look to it, and also a lot of good texturing, and also good accessibility to interior spots in it, and also quite good playability to it as well, yeah. And as for the bow backs and carriage of which, quite good, kind of good for how it is, well, even though being a little downscaled from the 2019 version, but uh, although this, although it could have worked out as its own separate set and have the Durmstrang ship just by itself, also along with a little dock-like area of the of some of the Black Lake areas, but even though we did get one last year in the uh, Black Lake set, of course, but although it could have worked out as well, but but whatever. But as is the witch, I can still kind of forgive how it is, but yeah. And then, so and as for the whole price point of which, for the hundred sixty seventy dollars that it is, of which kind of good for how it is. Like, since of course Dugan, and of course mainly for the uh, large piece count and also all the large texture of snot and all, of which all quite workable for that. And and despite having the large specific made uh, sale pieces. Also quite good for that, and also Madame Maxim having the longer legs and arms of which also great to see here uh, still return as well. But yeah, and so now if you are looking to get a new version of the Durmstrang ship for your Lego Harry Potter set collection, definitely pick it up. And if you are just gonna get, you know, or are looking to get a Durmstrang ship anyways, then definitely pick this up. And if you're a fan of Harry Potter Goblet of Fire. Also, definitely pick it up, yeah. 
And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.